My name is Paul Sheffield. And I'm Brad Christensen. And this is Best Thing on the Menu, Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. Hey, Kim Carter, Paul from Austin, and how can I help you? Hi, I have a takeout order I need to place. Alrighty, and what can I get started for you? Well, uh, funny story. So, I actually lost my fantasy football league, and our punishment is I have to order everything on the menu at Olive Garden. So like one of everything? Yep, I'm gonna order one of everything. And I'll prepay, this isn't a prank, but that's okay. that's what's about to happen. Okay, cool. Um, I have it all listed out, so I'll, I'll walk you through it. I'm prepped, I'm ready. You're ready, okay. I just need you to know it's gonna be a big order. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Actually, each entree comes with a salad. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I don't need all that salad. So can I just get like, I don't wanna waste. Perfect, and that's all? Is that it? Is it? Is that all? <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble with my league. All right, I'm going to go over and com confirm everything real quick with you, okay? You're the best. Thank you. Okay, we have the fried mozzarella, the stuffed bibi frita, the calamari, the meatballs, the spin bit, the lasagna frita, the shrimp frito miso, the tocha ravioli, a bono balfredo, and a bono marinara. We have a lasagna with the salad, a chicken parmesan with the salad, a shrimp scampi with a gnocchi, a spaghetti with meat sauce, with meatballs with the frijoli, a cheese ravioli, with marinara sauce and a minestrone. And then we have a chicken alfredo and then a five cheese meaty with a sausage. We have a chicken chip carbonara, a shrimp alfredo, a seafood alfredo, a chicken marsala fettuccine, a ravioli carbonara, a chicken tortellini alfredo, chicken scampi, eggplant parmesan, a chicken margarita, an herb grilled salmon, a six ounce sirloin cooked medium with fettuccine alfredo on the side, a grilled chicken parm, and then a roti and marinara sauce. Then you have your black thai meat cake, your chocolate lasagna, you have Sicilian cheesecake, your strawberry cream cake, your tiramisu, and your warm Italian donuts, one with, uh, both with raspberry and chocolate sauce. Does that all sound correct? You are the first person to absolutely nail that perfectly. Holy cow, great job. Perfect. And you're gonna have six breaded polos, if that's what you want, correct? Yeah, just six breadsticks. We don't need to get Alrighty. crazy. Your total is going to be $542.03. And you want to pay now? Absolutely. I'll pretty pay just so you guys know everything's on the up and up. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. We'll see you in about an hour. Yep, in about an hour. Okay. You're awesome. Thank you. I'm excited for this one and hungry. Welcome back. Welcome Thank back you. to the program. Yes. I had such a good time on that first one, so I'm glad I'm back so soon. I was expecting a season two appearance, but... It could not have worked out better because sometimes people exceed your expectations. Like you came on an episode, you were so great. I'm like, I gotta bring Brad back for another episode. And this is gonna be a great one because we're going to the Olive Garden. So when I very first met you, you were working as a server at the yeah, Olive Garden. 100%. So I totally associate Olive Garden with Paul Shelton, for <laughs> sure. And that is gonna continue today. But yeah, now I'll never get away from it. You will forever be associated with Olive Garden. And as a Greek, nothing hurts me more. But <laughs> <laughs> you're close. Hey, don't you dare. <laughs> Doesn't fight in words, but I'll allow it. Right now, if it had to go right now, the, the steak gorgonzola, gorgonzola Alfredo, if you're still going to give me first draft, it's gone. That's the thing that, and, and you know who, you know why I got that? Because you recommended it to me when way back when. So I'm sorry it's gone already. Unless something changes my mind, which... You're right, it is gone already. Because they took it off the menu. What? My favorite thing on the menu is no longer on the menu. It's gone, and that's part of the reason for the episode. My two favorite things, the braised beef tortelloni and the steak gorgonzola alfredo. I failed. I, I wasn't able to what? keep it up. It's gone. Oh, it's been gone for years. I want this episode dedicated to getting that back on the menu. It's gone, man. Ah, I was actually super excited for this. I want them back. Damn it, I want them back. You know, I don't do a ton of pasta. I'm not a Me huge neither. pasta fan. I always feel like it's too much of one thing, right? You got a giant plate and it's noodles with sauce all over it. If I could get like pasta with sauce and then some meat and then like something else, build out the plate a little more, that's kind of where I go. And when I go to a pasta place, it's like a pile of pasta and I just kind of get a well, little done with it by the end of the meal. I get it. You know? I've never understood fettuccine Alfredo. Just sauce and noodles. I needed meat. I oh, have to. I for sure. have to have a meat. If I don't have it, I feel like I haven't had a meal. I'm with you 100. percent You got to throw a chicken or a shrimp in there. Yeah. Sometimes oh, a chicken and shrimp. Seafood Alfredo. So good. Gets me downstairs excited. Yeah. It's so. Good. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Alfredo and seafood were meant to be together. They are betrothed, like a Shakespearean play, but they I made it work in the end. See, and I feel the same way about like a red sauce even. You, oh. You gotta have a meat in there. 
Yeah, spaghetti and meatball. People have ordered spaghetti. Like they order yeah. spaghetti with just spaghetti sauce and noodles. And uh -huh. I'll tell you what, that sounds like hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something you're forced to eat when there's no money in the house. <laughs> like mom's like, I'm making spaghetti. Yeah. And you're like, oh, is that really spaghetti though? It needs a little, a little if meat. If sauce. you don't have a meat sauce or a meatball, get out. I agree. Were, yeah. were, was your family a, a meatball family or were you a, a meat, oh. a ground meat in the sauce? We were ground meat in the sauce. Ground meat in the sauce. Yeah. That was my mom for sure. But my dad hated spaghetti so we'd only have it when he was out of town it drove me nuts because i loved it well we have just recently learned my two-year-old that is his favorite thing he loves spaghetti and so we've been eating a lot noodles. more noodles yeah. lately i prefer a meatball with a sauce not ground meat i love a meatball my mom never did a There's meatball and so something. finding the meatball later in later in life it, it became something that i was like this is this is yummy. A treasure. Yeah. We're gonna get to use a to-go spot, and I am just gonna. I'm, I'm taking wow. them all. Do when they you, do tw twelve to-go spots? Yeah. They've never had this to-go order before. I promise you that. No. Do we're gonna go grab our to-go special and we'll be ready. Okay. Appreciate it. I love when there's boxes on them. Everything on the menu. That's it. Have you ever had anybody order one of everything on the menu? No, we have not. All right. Well, you're the first say that one now. Oh, we're already paid up. Yep, already paid up. Of course, they, you prepay these situations. It's all here, we're good? Yep, we're it's all here. All right, that's good. And then, these boxes are going to be all your food, breadsticks, and sauces. Okay. Are you helping carry? Yes, we are. Oh, look oh, at this. Here's a... This is amazing. You guys are the best. Enjoy, you guys. Thank you. All the has been the best so far, for sure. Yeah? Yep. Thank you. A back seat full of food. Yes. It, it already smells very good. And I starved myself today. No eating because I wanted to be oh, ready. Absolutely. <sighs> we did it. We're here. We have the entire Olive Garden menu in this house. And honestly, super easy pickup. Props to our Olive Garden people. They were incredible. Unbelievable. The best pickup experience we've had on this show, and it's not close. I couldn't be happier. They were there with an army of people ready to march it out to the car, yeah. and it's all like labeled perfectly, and we were impressed. Let's get started. We've got a lot to go through. This is another restaurant that is nostalgic because of what it did for me while I was in college, and that is it fed me for two years while I was a poor college student and couldn't afford anything else, I was a server at Olive Garden. I don't know the whole menu because a lot has changed. As and we're going to talk about it later. Yeah. We're going to talk We're going to talk about it. But we're going to start with what Paul Sheffield lived on for about two years, and that is breadsticks, soup, and salad. Because those are the three things that they gave to us for free. So this is my life. Honestly, lately when I've gone, it's been to get breadsticks, soup, and salad. I have two that I really like. The other two are okay. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a walk down Lane, try some new stuff and we're gonna have some beefs we're gonna have some qualms for things that they've taken off the menu but we'll get to that maybe we can bring them back if there's anything this episode could do it's get back things that were taken off the menu but we'll see uh one downside is we don't have a waiter at the ready just to pull up pile on cheese i know Cow. you're gonna have to imagine cheese in your mind this episode because okay. we don't have it i apologize but i do have fresh cracked pepper and salt to taste. Where else would you start than with breadsticks? An Olive Garden breadstick. Yeah. Oh, I asked for not overcooked, soft, and they delivered perfectly. Uh, How do you like a breadstick? Oh, soft. Soft. Yeah, it has yeah, to yeah. be. No one wants a. Who likes a crunchy breadstick? No, I, I don't a at all. The center's soft. gotta be chewy. Yeah, almost doughy. Yeah. You wanna be like dough and then take it up a notch, and that's it. Careful. Oh, you're going straight fly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm saucing. We have the dipping sauce. No, I'm going to sauce as well, but this is the first bite I've had all day. <laughs> Me so too. I'm hungry. <laughs> all right, here we go. They have the marinara and Alfredo dipping boats. What's your leaning? I what? go marinara. That's your preference? Uh, almost, yeah, almost always. Chef's tip, you can get half and half what? and do both. And I would encourage you, I would implore you to give that a try today. Dip in your marinara. Okay. Yeah, and then we're gonna spoon a little Alfredo on top to do both at the same time. You are ready, sir. You're changing my life right now. That's very delicious. 
I like that a lot. That's a chef's tip right there. I didn't know you could do that. I thought you had to pick. Ask for half and half. They'll do it for you every time, and sometimes you get a little more because they're doing two ladlings. Yeah, I get it. But that's a great marinara, and I like their Alfredo here. For all the heat people talk on Olive Garden, it's a solid Alfredo. It's good. There's a reason people get it all the time. Okay. Soups or salad? I think we go soups. Okay. I think we should too. Yeah. We're oh. gonna get them while they're a little while they're hot. You know. Oh, he's triple biting a breadstick to no. start. They really are good. I'm gonna do a double with you. I can't. I can't deny it. I have such a love for an Olive Garden breadstick. Mm. Lived on them. We're not saying it's better than Texas Roadhouse, but no one's upset with an Olive Garden breadstick. No. This is a meal where you're gonna have to pace yourself. We can't be three biting breadsticks too much. Be careful. Look at you over there pouring your soda into a yeah. glass like a civilized gentleman. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna request the first soup we do, the pasta e fagiole. This is like an Italian chili, is what I always, as a server, described it as. It's definitely not as thick as a chili, but it has beans, so it's a true chili if it needs to be. No, we talked about <laughs> What is your feeling? of a pasta e fagiole. It's my third favorite. Oh! Of, of the soups. Oh, this was my number one soup. As a college student, this soup is all you need to survive. I like all of them because when I do like an unlimited soup and salad, I tell them to bring me one of each to start. And I walk. Do you really? <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's a Brad's tip. Because I, like I like to have the variety. But this one is my third favorite. And this also is the best soup for a breadstick. Oh, okay, okay. So this is your best breadstick I soup? I got a good piece of meat in there. Oh yeah, you did. Mm. The bean, the noodle, the carrots, the broth. This is a great soup. It's got a good broth. It's got a good even mixture <sighs> of, of all the flavors. Poor college Paul just went back and he couldn't be happier. <laughs> and just so you guys know also, this is the size of the soup we were allowed to have as server. So we would fill up our little side to go sauce cup full of soup, put it in the break area, breadstick on top, and everyone knew like that's yours. That's like, sacred. That's that's what you did. You could have as many breadsticks as you wanted in soup, but entrees were only half off. So okay. those were special occasion double shift <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since we did my favorite first, let's go to your favorite next. I'm interested. I actually don't know uh, what it is. We haven't talked about it. The this. Toscana is my favorite. The Zuppa uh, Toscana. I like, I like the spice in it. I like the, the uh, sausage. I think it's great. It's my second favorite. Okay. This is, I think, the soup people try and make the most at home. I think this yeah. is the most popular Olive Garden soup. And I think that that's true. And I think I've even looked up, how do we make this at home? Kale, spicy sausage, sliced potato. This is second to numb on the soup chart. We're sharing soups. We are friends today. I'm yeah. getting a real bite, real deal bite. Well, I yeah. want a little more of that potato in there right there. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, this, they're not changing my mind. I love this. You so can't much. you can't change my rankings either. This is number two squarely, and it's one A one B for me because this is such a completely different soup than the pasta e fagiole. It's true. I, I love the spice in there. Oh. We've kind of talked about. So I, uh -huh. I like a little more spice, and it's perfect. My wife would never touch that. That's too spicy. Oh, in a million while. years. Yeah, she would immediately send that back. Can I get something with Alfredo? And I would do. With this, I'll do a little bit yep. of soak in the bread. It's a great breadstick you know, soup as well. It, you can actually see it pulling into the bread. There it is. It's so good. That's my favorite. Yeah. It really is great. I just care for the pasta fagiole a tiny bit more. It was just a heartier soup for someone who hadn't eaten all day and had three it. classes at the University of Utah. Okay. This is my second favorite. Okay, and this is my third. Oh, so our, our least is the minestrone for both of us. Uh -huh, okay, yeah, yeah. fair enough. This is your chicken and yoki. Fun fact. This soup came out when I worked at Olive Garden. When I started as a server wow. at the Olive Garden, there were only three soups, and the day chicken and yoki came out, oh, we were freaking out. There's four? We have to juggle four now for these suburban moms that want soup and salad for two hours? That was another soup they're never gonna leave. That was how I said it. This actually inspired my daughter to learn how to make gnocchi. Ooh. Um, and she's done it successfully pretty well. One chicken, one dumpling, perfect bite. Cheers, sir. Oh. Exactly as I remember it. Mm -hmm. Needs salt. I really like how creamy it is. It's a change um, of pace soup. It's solid, but I will say I'm surprised it stuck around. When they unleashed it, I was like, eh, this is a good, this is going to fade. I, it's, it's withstood the test of time in the pandemic. Okay, so Brad's soup and salad order. What is your perfect soup and salad order? We're bringing that to the front of the episode. With a salad, I, I make sure I get both of the olives. Have had servers <laughs> occasionally. That's the first thing he says. Well, this is actually my biggest beef with Olive Garden. And it's coming out right now. We haven't oh. even gotten to salads. They're the Olive Garden and they give me two olives on the salad. Yeah. That's family size. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I need at least one olive per person at the table. Fix this Olive Garden, fix on, it. Guys. You know, if I'm going unlimited soup and salad, I said start me off with one of everything and, and I will go around. You will have even the minestrone. Well. There's 
Never a reason I would order this soup, but we'll have it for fun. Wow, that's a, they loaded this up though. It's my least favorite, but I still like it. Yeah, no, they don't have a bad soup, but. Hold on, I wanna trade that for that. Beans. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's not bad. It's pretty good. It's a brothy vegetable soup. For a vegetarian, that's a win every time. And there's a lot in there. Like there it's really not is. just broth. It's the Roma tomatoes that are peeled. I mean, that's not bad. It's my fourth for sure, but you're not gonna be disappointed with the minestrone soup. And then if I go back, I usually will order another. Just go. I don't know how to make that perfect order. The perfect order is I want them all available and I want to go around as I want. And if I don't want any more of it, I want to push it away and not feel bad because it's all you can eat and that's what you do and all you can eat. The world's your oyster. Let's at least show the salad because I did want to address. I'm not going to put these croutons. I don't care about those. I like croutons. Nah, okay. wasted carbs. Today, I agree with Wasted that. carbs. Two olives, to his point, in every salad, two pepperoncinis, two tomatoes. We are instructed as servers to put it exactly that way. I hear you. It frustrated me as a server, but it was a real thing. I even have asked, can we have extra olives? And they said, let me ask. And then it came back out to olives. They didn't ask. No, they've got things to do. Um, Are the olives so expensive? <laughs> Three olives would just ruin the margins? I don't know. No. I have a, <laughs> a question for you, Brad Christensen. Yes. Have you ever had the Olive Garden salad with ranch dressing? No, I always do it with the Olive Garden dressing. Server special tip, All right. get it with the ranch. They have ranch dressing at the Olive Garden. I didn't ask for it, I forgot it, that's on me. But I do have Wild Coyote Ranch, not sponsored, just amazing, from my fridge to our table. All right. I would like you to just try it one time with a little bit of the best ranch you've ever had in your life. Okay, let's do it. Is that fair? Uh, of course, yeah. Is that fair? Course. You can get this with ranch dressing. When I got soup and salad, I did it with the ranch. I got sick of the Italian dressing. We're gonna... Is that why though? You just, cause their Italian dressing yeah. is good. It's very, very good. Okay, all right. It's very good. But after so long, you gotta change something. I get it. Okay. Yeah. And I love ranch dressing. So I'm not yeah. opposed to. And to also. This. Yeah. Get it. You gotta pepper a salad. You like pepper on a salad? Oh, I like pepper on everything. In fact, my, my dad would, used to say Fresh crack. that if you can still see your food, there's not enough pepper. He loved pepper, I've inherited it. It is best when you toss it, you get the tongs in the restaurant. We're just gonna keep it, you know, simple. Yeah. This is the earliest salad has ever been eaten on this show, and that's for a reason. It's At such Olive a Garden. statement. I got, I got a little bit of everything. This is a good bite and one olive, so I'm happy. Uh, yep, here we go. Paper towels up the ready this episode. <laughs> For a salad, there's a reason you go there. It's consistent, it always tastes great. Yeah. If they could throw in a couple more olives and de-stem my pepper cheese, it would be the perfect salad. Agreed. And guess what? We're not gonna not have the Italian. We did ranch on that side. I'll, I'll give you the Italian dressing. We, okay. we gotta do it for the viewers at home. As if you never had this dressing, you know you have. So it's not like anyone's yeah. gonna be surprised by my review of the Olive Garden Italian dressing. Well, and what I love about the Italian dressing though is somehow they make it a little thicker. So it actually sticks and doesn't just run to the bottom of the the dish. It was really well said. Yeah. The things we think about. Mm -hmm. right, no olive on this one because, you know, they're gone. Mm -hmm. We gotta get our veggies in, you know? I really like their Italian dressing. I love it. It's in the grocery stores for a reason. Yeah. Solid dressing. Everyone knows the Olive Garden soup and salad. You're not gonna be disappointed no matter which way you go. But now, let's have some fun. Appetizers. And I haven't had more than half of them. I don't think I've had any of them. You've never had a I don't know, the Olive Garden? I don't think so. Full appetizer virginity I'm taking right now? Well, because I always assume that the bread oh, and the man. salad that come out are my appetizer, then my food comes out and I'm ready to go. It's like an appetizer in between an appetizer and a, it's like an extra appetizer, so I never do it. This man's about to live. Wow, I'm excited. Yes. What? A, that was a fun, quick first segment. Really good. Oh my heck, I just had more breadstick. What am I doing? Stop doing that. I know, I should just finish it. And then no, I can more. no. <laughs> Oh my heart, I keep eating them. I don't care anymore. Just finish your breadstick, just be done with it. No. All right, it's time for those appetizers we were talking about. I'm chewing because off camera, I finished. Oh, my don't worry, I'm not going to edit that out. Everyone's <laughs> going to know what you did. It was just sitting there. So there are eight appetizers at the Olive Garden. The ones that I have had, surprisingly good. Okay. So we're going to roll through this. I want to go with a classic one that I actually know I'm going to like first, and that is the lasagna frita. Okay. So they're little vertical Ooh. fried Ooh. lasagna roll old items. <laughs> and, a, and a couple of dipping sauces. A couple of dipping sauces. It's, it's got a meat sauce, looked... not the marinara sauce, and an Alfredo as well. You're welcome to combine. Uh, but yeah, it's just rolled up fried lasagna. 
Do you want to just cut one in half, or do you want to do your yeah, own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've already I had mean, a full bread, yeah, breadstick, so exactly. I ate the whole breadstick, so. But I think I'm gonna have to do two dips with this because I got to go okay. one and then the other. I'm gonna go meat sauce. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's really yummy. That's not bad. Yeah, I really like the. Okay, now I gotta go. Do it. Right now, just Absolutely. Pass. I'm not holding you back. Better with the meat sauce. I'm not gonna which, argue with you. Which pairs better with lasagna anyway? Right. Exactly. Yeah. A true lasagna needs a red meat sauce with that white ricotta cheese. That's how you do a lasagna, man. It's fantastic. It's a great appetizer. It's always been a classic, a go-to. They've labeled everything individually. Making it so easy on us. I can't, I can't say enough how great Olive Garden did it to go. This is gonna be the cleanest episode we've done. Usually it's like a mess. This is gonna be the most organized, clean episode I've done. All right, I've never had this here. The spinach artichoke dip. This sounds great. As a child, I thought artichoke was the worst. And then as an adult, I'm like... When you put cheese, spinach, and mayonnaise with it, man, artichokes really come through. Chips are nice and crisp still. Oh, you gotta do more than that. Come on, Brad. I ate the your, whole bread. This isn't, your, <laughs> this isn't your first episode. That is a spinach artichoke. Never had, first time. Okay, that's a really good artichoke dip in my opinion. That's solid. I would like to see a little bit more spinach, a little bit darker of a color. And my favorite thing you can do on an artichoke dip is have a nice crust on top. Yeah, I do love like that. Like a broiled yeah. crust. So it's missing that, but the flavor underneath, as good as any artichoke dip you can have. That's a great flavor. That's a great right. starting appetizer. Now we're gonna get my wife's favorite appetizer, stuffed ziti frita. Okay. A ziti pasta stuffed with cheese that has dipping sauces on the side. This one, again, great to put both sauces. I'm okay. just telling you, don't worry about mixing sauces. We're all family here. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Mm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So I did the whole thing. I didn't waste my life on breadsticks. <laughs> well, that is so good. Can I say my argument with this? I have none. What is? What could you argue about this? This is just pasta. I'm coming for That's pasta true. already. It's like rib tips at a barbecue joint. I'm getting ribs. Like This is great. Oh. But if I'm gonna get any pasta, it's like I'm just doing the same thing. How's about uh -oh. soup and salad? Add that. Now we're Holy cow, because then you've got like yeah. all of the goodness of that, and then you just have a little like side yeah. pasta thing. That's a good order. It acts more like an entree. That's really yummy. That's a Brad Christensen original. I, hey, I just came up with that now, and I've only had a few things on this menu. <laughs> He's already <laughs> modifying his order. It's yummy. <laughs> 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 this is an appetizer that speaks to Paul's soul. Meatballs. That's all. Yeah. Meatballs in a beautiful sauce, a nice Parmesan crust, mozzarella on top. I am a sucker for a meatball appetizer because it starts the meal off with some meat hardiness. Mm -hmm. If you go red sauce on your appetizer, you can go white sauce for your entree. Like, possibilities. We've talked about meatballs. You're a meatball guy. Well, right? oh. uh, ooh, I, did you see how I, just, I noticed how how you just cut through that? For, no, to have the, the other half, sir. Well, I wanted to feel oh, the oh. I wanted to feel the cut. Oh, yeah. That's a soft Isn't meatball. that effortless? Yeah, that was amazing. Holy cow. I saw your fork go through it so easy and I got excited. That was a great slice through. I'm reaching over. Don't get Do it. Don't oh, get mad. I, you know, I'm going to do the I'm same. I'm going to grab a little extra mare and there a sauce. Yeah, this is gonna be such a good episode. Everything's been so yummy so far. I've been sleeping on their meatballs. I'm a sausage guy, and that's what I had, and we'll talk about that later in the episode. Wow. I never got meatballs until I was an adult. My mom always did like a meat sauce, but she never did like a meatball, so I always thought meatballs looked weird. I slept on them for years. That's really yummy. They're soft, but flavorful. The meat is decadent. I'm and blown it, away. And if you got your server to put a little extra cheese on that, oh, it'd be stop. even better. I'm not gonna double bite. I want to though. This is a big menu. I made some mistakes in the RB episode. I'm not going to make them today. You know what? I'm going to just stuff myself. I'm double biting whenever I want. Calamari, a staple at the Olive Garden. Oh, what's that sauce? Yeah, it's different. A spicy ranch. Oh, okay. Spicy ranch and marinara. So we got to try, I think, one of each, right? I think so. I'm going to go spicy ranch, though, first. That's I intriguing. Well. Got to give it a shot. Okay. We lost a little crispiness. I'm not going to fault them for that. But how soft is that calamari? It's not overcooked. It is, it is very soft. It's not chewy. My, and that's kind of the thing. Like, it's the first time you get calamari, you're like, oh, it's a little chewy. This isn't that way at all. I'm not going to throw a restaurant under the bus. But my wife and I went out to celebrate our anniversary this week mm. to a very high-end restaurant. And we ordered the calamari. This is better. I'm not going to throw shade. It was overcooked. It was rubbery. The breading was all over the place. This is better. I like the spicy ranch with it as well. Yeah, Need good. a little lemon on the side to drizzle on. Ooh, that would be very good. All right, one of Paul's favorite appetizers, okay. mozzarella sticks. Oh, fried cheese, how can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Cheese. <gasps> it doesn't matter. That's what's gonna happen anyway. Marinara everywhere. <laughs> well, I guess that one's mine. I'm oh, sorry. And look, and now you already prepared mine. <laughs> Here we go. Making a mess, Paul. Hmm. 
Not my favorite mozzarella stick. I was gonna say that I had a mozzarella stick recently from another restaurant that, that's a little better. I like Arby's more. Appetizers are a competitive category. This one falls flat for me. The stuffed ziti frita, you'd take that over this 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is a forgotten appetizer. Yeah. Maybe they could well, take maybe... that off and put like, I don't know, the steak gorgonzola back on. I don't know, I don't wanna tell them what to do. Another appetizer, I didn't even know they had this. I didn't know it existed. It's maybe new, maybe not. I did go on like a five year Olive Garden hiatus after I stopped working there. You'd have to, right? <laughs> you can't eat that much and not take a break. This is the shrimp frito misto. I don't know why it's misto. But it looks like, again, you got that spicy ranch. Looks like they've got tempura fried vegetables and battered tempura shrimp. I am going to have two shrimps on this with the spicy ranch, because this speaks to me. This looks good. Oh, and there's the lemon. Hey, they lemoned this. Yeah. But we missed it on the calamari. Yeah. Now I'm not as lenient yeah, on it. Let me spritz me. Misto me. <laughs> misto. Can I get a misto of the meast? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. That's better than the calamari. For sure. And that spicy ranch does work with those shrimp. Yeah, it does. Woo! I think my only, and this is a very small complaint, yeah. is that I, we lose some of the shrimp flavor because there's a lot going on. I disagree. I had plenty of shrimp flavor with mine. That's higher on my list than it is for you, I think. That's a really good shrimp. Frito and still. Toasted ravioli. I think this came out when I was working there as well. That's a guest ravioli. Yeah, oh, look at sprinkle look, of the parm. Yeah, look at it. Take that. That's yours, boss. Let's see, look at all yeah. That. Friendship. Do you like ravioli? I like ravioli a lot. Listen, I'm a, I'm a poor. I'm a drizzle. There we go. It's not as good as I remember. I feel like the meat is missing something. Like the meatball was way more flavorful than that. I feel like it was empty. Yeah, that wasn't Wait. stuffed very well. So I feel like it was a lot of just tough noodle. Yeah, tough noodle. Maybe it was an off day for him because I remember it being better than it was. I'm gonna grab, I wanna just try some of the filling. Yeah, this is not, this, no. is, this is kind of a miss for me. For a classic, I expected more. Competitive category, uh, but there were some misses. But there were some really, really good things that I think are going to be regular orders now. Oh, that, we that changed you. That, Oh. Super salad with a, with that ziti, I think is an exciting order for me. There's gonna be like two perfect orders for Brad. <clears throat> oh, I'm already going there. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> I, entrees. Okay, we're gonna dive into the classics. We're gonna start there and then we're gonna venture out. One of the most popular items at the Olive Garden is the Tour of Italy, as they say, which is a half piece of lasagna, little fettuccine alfredo, and a piece of chicken parm without the spaghetti. We are gonna do a mega Tour of Italy, where we have fettuccine alfredo with a the steak sirloin, okay, a real chicken parm, and a lasagna. So we're Perfect. basically gonna do a mega Tour of Italy to start. I didn't order that and get it twice. That right. seems silly, it's the same thing. Ooh, <laughs> it looks great. I could not ask for a better lasagna than how that looks. Yeah, it looks wonderful. That's incredible. Be my guest. All right, I'm taking this corner. Yeah. Oh my, I will say. Oh yeah. This was a regular good, for me. Good layers. When I could, I lasagna in this place for sure. Oh, that looks hot. Piping. Mmm. Mmm. It's a good lasagna. It's a great lasagna. Oh. It's just cheesy enough. You can still taste the ricotta, mm -hmm. soft noodles. That's comfort food. That's a fire lasagna. The only thing to make it better, I would uh, ground some pepper on top of that. Oh, should we be peppering more? Am I not? I'm you know what? It's okay. Taste? It's okay because then I'm getting like how they come and then I can, you know. Salt and pepper to taste, of yeah. course. Now, I got the cleaver out, the mini cleaver. This is my favorite knife because yeah. I can do so many intricate cuts with this thing. So we're gonna do the chicken parm. I'm gonna tell you my secrets after we eat. Secrets after? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna get a little spaghetti with it, just a tiny bit to go with the chicken parm parm. Mm -hmm. Solid chicken parm, standard, nothing crazy. It's not my thing. I don't know what it is, I just. Good, then what I'm about to tell you isn't gonna bother you too much. Okay. This was one thing I consciously avoided as a server at the Olive Garden and always steered my guests away from. I don't understand it, I'll never understand it, and maybe it's changed in the 10 years I haven't worked there, but the chicken parm came pre-made. It was pre-breaded, ready to go, done. Mm. But they breaded the eggplant parmesan in-house. They had the station, and they only did the eggplant parmesan fresh. This was always frozen. You know how people are like, oh, it's, you know, things are, this was one that was. Mm. The lasagna meat sauce was made in-house, ready to go. They cut corners with the chicken parm, and I never got over it. So there's a little behind the scene. Eggplant was fresh. Yeah. Chicken wasn't. Speaking of, <clears throat> let's roll with the eggplant parmesan. I'm not gonna spaghetti on this one. I think we're just gonna cleave out some yeah. eggplant. No, nothing says let's be healthy like frying vegetables. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, uh, but as a Greek, eggplant is required in our diet. 
that is better than the than the chicken, which is, you know, you think, oh, I want something meaty. I want, I yeah. want. Uh, you have to have meat with your entree, but this is better than the chicken parm. I always recommend an eggplant over the chicken, and people would be like, but why? I never had the courage to tell them because I didn't want to get fired. And you know, <laughs> with, with, without this show, I would always lean toward meat. I love meat in my diet and I in and in my meal, especially when I'm going out. I'm going out because I want somebody to cook me a good piece of yes. meat. Yes, but this I would definitely rather have this. Than the chicken, which is crazy. It's the better Parmesan. It just is. Didn't even know this until today. They have a grilled chicken parm. Oh. You can do a non-fried chicken parm. I wonder if this is made in-house, grilled on the flat top. You'd have it would have to be, right? <sighs> We'd hope. We don't. But like you don't put anything past them. But it's a nice chicken breast. It's kind of like anti-chicken Parmesan though, right? Because it's like- The Parmesan, you do need the Parmesan crusting. Yeah, so Ideally. It's I'm gonna grab a little rigatoni and marinara with it though. This is our yeah. only chance to get this noodle. We do actually have a full rigatoni marinara, but who cares? Ooh, you definitely taste the chicken more in this than yeah. you do with the chicken parm. I like that though. I think it's better. I like that way more. But I'm just saying, it, it's not a chicken parmesan. So if you really like that breaded chicken, this isn't that, but it tastes better than the chicken parmesan. 100%. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely correct. <clears throat> Can I interest you in some steak, sir? Of course. <laughs> I asked for a medium six ounce top sirloin. As you should. Uh, this is also our fettuccine Alfredo. <sighs> when I was a server, they had the steak Toscana, which was a New York strip steak with grilled potatoes and peppers on the side, and it was awesome. I am shocked that it's gone. Yeah, because that sounds great. Uh, Sorry, I was holding that in. I could tell. I could tell something was happening at the end of that sentence. You were like, trying to get all the way through. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> Where do we go from here? But I would never trust a steak at, a, at an Italian place. Maybe that's why they got rid of it, but I don't understand why they replaced it with a six ounce top sirloin. Let's see how they cooked it. There's no grill marks. That's not a good look. Oh, it's kind of pink. It's more it's... more toward medium well. Yeah. Are we getting noodles with this? I think we should. A yeah. little uh, Alfredo on the side. I'm going to spoon a little Alfredo just to Ooh, really bring, idea. It, bring it home. Bring it home. Reach on over. Mmm. Mmm. That's not a bad flavor. No, it's not. Wow. Very chewy for a steak. Nice flavor. Couple of problems with that. Number one, this just makes me mm. think of the steak gorgonzola Alfredo, oh, which you had. <laughs> you already had it perfect. You had it perfect <laughs> and now you do this? Is this bad? No. But I will never order this on principle alone. That was my favorite thing on the menu. You betrayed us all, Olive Garden. You betrayed us all. And it is my journey to get that back on the menu as it rightfully belongs. I recommended it to all my tables. Apparently I didn't do a good enough job. No, and you you recommended it to me. And since then, it was always like yeah. the, the thing I wanted most. I've got to pause you real quick. You're probably like, Paul, what's that? Annoying click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack in the background. That's my dog, Rod. Rod, come here, buddy. Yay! I forgot, to put, I forgot to put the gate up, and so he is like, I smell steak, Dad. This is what you always make. Come here, bud. Come here. Yay. You're not in Rob's trouble. You're not make. in trouble. First debut. This, everyone, you've probably uh, heard him. He's my little boy. Uh, he's a good boy. He's my little man, Rod. He is a busybody. He is the best dog you've ever known in your life, but he wants to be everywhere at all times doing all things, and I just want two hours to review a menu without him <laughs> demanding to smell everything like the hound he is. So now we're gonna put you back. You gotta go to your bed. But I, I was like, at some point he's gotta make a day yeah. on the show. So everyone knows this guy just loves being around dad. Huh, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna take you back. Bye Rod. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna say this, cause I agree with you. The steak, okay. the steak gorgonzola is better than this. However, I thought it had a really good flavor for a steak. I wasn't expecting less chewy than that because it's a sirloin. Yep. Right, and you have to know your cuts and you know that the sirloin is gonna be a little bit tougher than other yep. cuts. It's not too chewy. And I thought mixing it with the Alfredo sauce actually gave it a nice little something. I, I liked it. <laughs> sure, I'd never order it in a million years. And here's my thing. If you're gonna keep steak on your menu and you have the top sirloin medallions already there, you had to take steak gorgonzola because what? Gorgonzola cheese went through the roof and a little balsamic glaze, which is too much to keep it in house. No, it wasn't. You've already, you've got the reason. steak. Just get Gorgon's, you've got the Alfredo, you got the nudie. What, what happened? Tell me, I wanna know. I get heated. It's my, it was my favorite thing. Man. Let's, let's see. I mean, if there's enough people who watch this episode who also remember how good the steak Gorgonzola Alfredo was, we, maybe we can get it back. Hashtag Gorgonzola bring back. That's, you can think of a better hashtag. Yeah, sure, no, no, that was bad. <laughs> that was so bad. SGA, SGA back, stay. Bring it back. Yeah, bring back the SGA. Listen, they're not all first round picks. Hey, I'm flying off the hey, cuff here. Hey, we'll figure it out. <laughs> you figure it out. <laughs>
Should we try some pastas? Let's do pastas. Okay. I think that's all we have left. <laughs> all that we just have a lot left. of pasta. One salmon, the rest is pasta. Let's go with probably the most popular thing on the Olive Garden menu. Something I don't really care too much for, but people absolutely love it. And that is the chicken fettuccine alfredo. You know, it looks good. Look how much chicken. It is a lot of chicken. I would never just get fettuccine alfredo. Mm -hmm. If that's what you're getting, stay home. Yeah, you That's the upcharge. I think every time someone orders a fettuccine alfredo, someone at Olive Garden corporate laughs. Get something worth getting. I, said, I agree. You got to put meat in it. You can make a shrimp. You can yeah. make a chicken. You can make it shrimp and chicken, but you got to put some meat. Maybe some your... steak gorgonzola. I don't know. Maybe. Where <laughs> could you find such a thing? <laughs> mm. It's just boring to me. It needs salt, it needs cheese, it needs pepper. Yeah, I agree with all that. And even if that first bite is good, that's your whole meal. It's every just, bite. Every is bite the is the exact same, yeah. Cream, pasta, chicken. Cream, pasta, chicken. It is filling now. And nothing says I'm a father of five like this man always say, it is filling. <laughs> that, <laughs> that has been your number one reach to compliment. When you ever describing something, it is filling. Listen, Paula, is it my favorite? No, but it's filling. That's a father of five. <laughs> hey, hey when, when the belly's got to be full, you look for things that'll fill the bellies. <laughs> You've said that so many times. That's funny. All right. Well, now I'm conscious of it and I'll Good. come up with other ways to tell the camera and our audience. I didn't like it. <laughs> and I don't care if it's filling. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna so now, be a lot the same. So this is the chicken tortellini okay. Alfredo. So instead of pasta, it's actually cheese filled pasta. Okay. To go with the cream sauce and the chicken. I can definitely see that this is gonna be an upgrade then. I agree. A little something, something extra. I'm gonna go noodle first. And I'm gonna let you, oh, that's a, oh, I got a nice cheese drip. Yeah, I got some cheese drip as well. It's gonna be filling. Mm. Way, way better. Way better. I think everything about it is better. It's cheesier, mm -hmm. more flavorful. The cheese brings out the flavor of I, the chicken. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Can I say though, I hate this dish. And I'm gonna tell you why, Olive Garden. You've done it to me twice. Favorite dish, steak gorgonzola. Second favorite <laughs> dish, braised ah. beef tortelloni. They had this tortelloni, they braised a beef in a nice Tuscan cream butter sauce. I remember, loved it. It was incredible. <laughs> And now you do this to me? You keep the tortellini like, no, Paul, get your beef out of here. Oh, so I can't love this on principle alone, but it's good. It's really, it's really good. <laughs> it's and, and when you want that chicken Alfredo flavor, this is the way to go, because you also get that cheese and it's good. My beef with Olive Garden is simply the beef and lack thereof now. No. They had two great beef options and they got rid of them. And no one had a braised beef tortelloni. It was so good, man. I wish I could give that to you right now. I wish I could have it. But don't worry, the chicken scampi survived. Which, this feels light and fresh. I've had it. Have you ever had it? No. Okay. No, I don't think I've ever ordered a scampi. Ever? I don't even know what a scampi is. Me neither. Bring vegetables, vegetables. Looks like, a, like a garlic sauce. Okay. It's not a cream sauce. Oh, I just stabbed into a giant piece of chicken there. I cut one in half for us. Oh, it's right there, there for you, is. sir. Oh, look at all the peppers, yeah. I'm big biting this bad boy. I'm not messing around. Mmm. Can I tell you, Angel Hair is underrated pasta. I love Angel Hair more than fettuccine, and it's not close. I've been holding yeah. on to that for a yeah. while. I know I'm in the minority. I love Angel Hair. I feel like it gets sauce soaked up better. It's easier to work with. You can get a night amount. Yeah. Fettuccine's flopping all over the place. It's like a fat kid trying to climb a rope. I oh. get it. Yeah, and now the visual is sinking in. Yeah. yeah, it is. And the fettuccine, it gets everywhere. Like. But angel hair is agile. So you can twist it if you want to. Yeah. You can fold it up. Um, my favorite part of this was the peppers. peppers. Yeah, the, the I knew grilled, were the grilled say. peppers were yummy. Uh, the chicken was fine. I don't know if I'd order it again, but the grilled peppers though were a delicious flavor. So nice change. Let's stay in the scampi family. We're gonna go to the shrimp scampi, which I'm already gonna tell you right now, way better than the chicken. You think I, so? Oh, I know. You so. know so. Oh, do we have asparagus? First appearance of asparagus. Ooh, yeah. I can. I love asparagus. Let's, this is gonna go. We're gonna mix this up. Look at the steam, boy. Yeah. The oven is doing work today. Nice Roma tomatoes. Yeah. Again, that yeah. garlic butter sauce. Get a couple of asparagus and yeah. the tomato in there. Definitely going for asparagus. I really like asparagus. It has its place in the world. I traditionally like asparagus with steak and potatoes, but you can convince me. Oh man, I'm having trouble stabbing these asparagus. I've already gotten one. Mm. That's a superior uh, uh, scampi. It's not um, close. Wow. Oh. It just pairs better with this. That butter with the, the uh, asparagus, wow, that's really yummy. Seafood and pasta are meant to be together, and I can't emphasize that enough. That is 
the greatest platform for seafood, in my opinion. Delicious, I would order that. Very, very good. Underrated dish, which means it'll probably be off the menu soon. <laughs> if we're following patterns here. Oh no, Paul likes it. Get it off the menu. Paul's recommended it to his friend and now he likes it. Gone. There's so much of this menu that's changed that I really am sad about. They had a stuffed chicken marsala and then a regular marsala chicken that were actually really, really good. Now they have a chicken marsala fettuccine. Okay. So I guess it's more, it's a fettuccine noodle. There's mushrooms, spinach, kind of a creamy marsala sauce underneath with the same chicken as the chicken scampi. I'm going full mushroom here because I like a mushroom. Ooh, that's some, this, the spinach there. And I'm going to try and spin these noodles up. Mm-hmm. There's that creamy marshmallow mm. sauce. Hits mm -hmm. you immediately. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. What they had before was better. I'm just telling you it was. It I was... really like those mushrooms in there though. That's a good flavor. You With are the... a mushroom I guy. really do like mushrooms, yeah. My son, he's like, pepperoni and mushroom is his like go-to pizza. Yeah, he loves mushrooms. When I was 10, that was mine. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You and Dean get along well. Gosh, Dean's my favorite. I'm just yeah, he's say. awesome. Moving right along. Should we do some more pasta? Let's do more pasta, why not? <laughs> this is probably the simplest item on the Olive Garden men menu. It's just their cheese ravioli with marinara sauce. You can get meat sauce, Alfredo sauce, marinara sauce, or their five cheese marinara. I just did the classic marinara, that's okay. what it normally comes with. How do you feel about ravioli? Well, I felt really good about it until I had the appetizer that wasn't so good. But this cheese sauce looks way this better. This is so, that, did you see that cheese bowl? My heavens. Yeah, yeah, ooh. Mm. Okay. Oh, that is awesome. If you want ravioli, make it your main dish. Can I tell you my one complaint with ravioli? And you're gonna understand this on a deep level and I want you to feel so validated okay. right now. All right, give it to me. You never get enough ravioli. It's Whenever true. you over ravioli, you get five or six and you're like, okay, well, when's the meal coming? I'm ready for it. Like, it doesn't fill you up. I, I understand mm -hmm, when you mm -hmm. when you use it's it as a compliment, filling. it's not filling. You never get enough. <laughs> it's so much work because they like hand press it and they're like, well, we put all this work. It's like, well, you did all this work for nothing because I'm not full. It's like the sushi of Italian food. I don't understand why you don't get as much as you should. Well, and maybe, look at this maybe, little container. Why not let me order a, a four-piece ravioli? An eight-piece ravioli. Or an eight-piece ravioli. Make ravioli. it like wings. Yeah. What an idea. Yeah. How, how many how many ravioli would you like, sir? I'd like a 10-piece ravioli. Done. And the price for that is whatever it is. And who cares? But I agree with you. Did we just create a restaurant? I think we did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a wing joint how, ravioli. How many do you want, sir? Did you get me an extra Diet Mountain Dew, too? No, you brought that for yourself. You just forgot. Oh, cool. But I, I almost went for... You almost took the credit? Yeah, I almost went for the credit. Because it would have uh, been awesome. It would have been like, yeah, such an awesome moment. friend. But then I told the truth. Because you're a better friend. Yeah. Item I've never had before, it's the cheese ravioli carbonara. Okay. So it's a carbonara sauce. You're gonna have a little bit of bacon, as you can see that little, uh, oh, the bacon. I can it's smell not... the bacon. Yep. Parmesan's crusted on top. The sauce looks more flavorful. This already looks like a better ravioli. Look at all that bacon. Okay, I'll play with you. Oof. It's really good. Way good. Oh, lots of flavor in that. But get ready to take a nap after that. I That's... was gonna say, <laughs> holy <laughs> that, shit. Oh my gosh, maybe you only need five when it's yeah. that sauce. Wow. Whoa. To do that, like a whole plate of that by the end, you they better set up a cop for you. That's, that not, is... a, that's not a beginning of the day meal. Mm, that's an end of diet meal. Wow. The Parmesan cheese on top, a little, little bit of a little, little crusted, a little... That uh, presentation, pre it yeah, counts. It was good. Yeah, it was yummy. All right, we've held off long enough. I almost hesitate to even show this to the world because I'm worried they're going to take it off the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I've already struck out with my top two. This was also my absolute go-to meal. To this day, last time mm -hmm. I went to the Olive Garden, this is what I ordered. It is the five cheese ziti al forno at a sausage chef's tip. That. So you added the sausage. I add the sausage. You can add anything to anything, right? You can say. That's perfectly said. <laughs> yes, you can add anything to anything. You can add meatballs, chicken, shrimp. And sausage now, apparently. I did not know They this. always have had sausage because in the build your own pasta, those are your four Ooh. meats. You can add anything to any of those meals. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I want you to dive in. This is as good of a meal. I'm gonna just let you finish. I don't, I don't even take a bite. Mm. Yeah, you're there. There's a lot going on there that is all great. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at this cheese. Then the five cheese marinara, you're gonna get that nice spicy Italian sausage going. Oh, that's yummy. Get out of town and don't come back. Yeah, I would order this often. This is great. It holds all the flavor really well. Cheese, not too much cheese. Well, you can never have enough cheese. And that sausage is just oh. spicy enough. That is awesome. Oh, 
it kind of tastes like a, a little bit of the Super Toscana, but like on the pasta. I promise you this, I've had all four meats on this to see what is the best. Sausage emerged victorious. I needed to get sausage on something and I was like, I'm gonna let the viewers know this is my go-to order. And so far has not been beaten by anything. How much more is it to add the sausage? <sighs> Two ninety nine. So not so so a little so bit more to make you it, love a meal. Not a big deal. But if it's your birthday, you'd be like, <laughs> yeah. If it's your birthday, you'd be I'm splurging. Mm -hmm. I'm adding the sausage. It's my birthday. Absolutely. This is this is a birthday meal. Speaking of birthdays. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. Just because I know, just because I know you have, you were a server for so long. <laughs> Oh no! And, and you know, last time I asked you about <laughs> order when, preferences. Yeah, when people ask you about what, what oh, like, what's your favorite thing on the menu, tell me about singing happy birthday to people. <laughs> did you did you do it, did, or did oh, you have to do it? Did I the, do it? What was the rule? There are things in life you'll never forget. <laughs> I will never forget when my mom got remarried. I will never forget where I was when 9-11 happened. I will never forget proposing to my wife. And I will never forget the Olive Garden birthday song. Buena festa, what a joyous day. Life's good fortune is sure to come your way. Come on, sit back and just relax. We'll, keep, we'll celebrate the Italian way. We're so glad you came to celebrate with us today. <laughs> it's burned in my mouth. <laughs> It will never leave me as long as I live. And it hurts my soul. How many times I've had to sing that song. <laughs> if, you, if you had to guess how many times, it was at least once a night. There was no night you got away from. Not a, not a weekend night, not for sure. Mondays and Tuesdays, those are slow. Those okay. people, people okay. don't go out on a birthday on a Monday or on a Tuesday, but the weekend, never a weekend for two years. It haunts me to this day. Yeah, I guess I just have to say, <laughs> Thank you to all the I servers know. who made it was, my little kid smile with a silly birthday song. It was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I'll never, <laughs> the Buena Festa song. Buena Festa. Two years, that thing's not leaving me. The chicken and shrimp carbonara now. I think this is just good mixed with better, right? So. Can I just tell you, I'm gonna give you a, a, a pro tip. Just grab a shrimp. You know yeah. this chicken, but the shrimp yeah. with the carbonara bacon sauce. Okay, all right. My guy. You, I, I want a little bit of that uh, pepper too. You, dude, you, yeah. With that one. Yeah, I'm not gonna pepper. Who gives it? Oh, a little, I got sauced on my jazz jacket. Oh, we haven't really been twirling with the spoons much. Look yeah. at this. Well, I do know that you twirl with the spoon. Well, apparently I don't, so I'm learning. I know you should. We're just heathens. Well, well look, I, I did it and it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> you gotta practice. It's like chopsticks. It's Italian ch Oh, look at this, I'm a mess. Okay, eat. It's a good dish. The most fattening thing on the menu. Is it? Yep. I can feel it. Yep. It's thick. It's a thick cream sauce. Yeah, that cream sauce. And then sauce they were like, like, hey, let's put some bacon with that. Yeah, it feels like I'm still chewing on it. Here's the thing. I do know there's a difference between an Alfredo and a carbonara. They are basically just seasoning up their Alfredo sauce. I'm not oblivious to that, but they do a good job. I think of all the shrimp we've had, that's the one I, I'm least likely to get. And we have more coming. Do we? Yeah, there's two more shrimp items. And I think you're right. Angel hair's better than spaghetti. Always. Yeah, I'm sold. Speaking of spaghetti, oh, come on, sit back and just relax. We'll celebrate the Italian <laughs> word. Now it's in my head. I wish it was my birthday. I'm so glad you came to celebrate with me today. Hey! <laughs> I don't think I haunts me. <laughs> this is the spaghetti and meatball. The only reason I didn't two bite the meatball appetizers because I knew this was coming and I want to eat this again, even though I know exactly what I'm getting yeah, it for. Yeah. That's how excited I am. I guess I, I should yeah. get some noodle with that and spin it on a spoon or something. Hold on, mm. I gotta go. Mm. Spoon. I gotta spin it. Yeah, there you go. I love that the meatball's touching the spoon and not the noodle. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a that was noodle. the biggest fail and you have no sauce. Here, buddy. Yeah, pour it on there. <laughs> You're gonna be the first person to ever review a spaghetti and meatball without any sauce. That was awesome. It's the, good. The meatball's great, but I think I'd rather eat it just with the meatball. Can I tell you, I would never order this normally, but I would for sure just do this on the never ending possible. This would be one of them. Those oh, meatballs are so good. Damn. Honestly, it's great when you're gonna, if you wanna go for that never ending pasta bowl, I'm gonna absolutely advocate for that five cheese marinara with a sausage and then just a spaghetti and meatball. You're gonna be the happiest person alive. Don't get crazy. Just, just eat the meatball off top and push away the, all the noodles. Boom, put them under the table, get another bowl. They'll sing you happy birthday. It's a good time. Yeah, the meatball's so good. Honestly, I wanna order the meatballs and just bring them home. I know, that appetizer that the appetizer meatballs was really good. Shysta. Wow. I did get the gluten-free pasta rigatoni marinara. I, uh, as I, a dedication to the show, I'm gonna know, grab some help. I have a sister who is now uh, 
you know, just, we found out she needs to be gluten free. Mm. So that's actually not too bad. If you have to be gluten free, that's definitely not a terrible. I mean, it tastes like a noodle, not like yeah. cardboard. No. It could be worse. The shrimp Alfredo and the seafood Alfredo, which is just the shrimp Alfredo plus scallops. Oh, okay. No. Oh, wait. Let's wait, yeah. let's, let's spoon. Okay. So how I'm supposed to? So you bring it in, twist a couple of times, get a nice turn, and then pull out. See how it kind of like bubbles okay. together. And then is it supposed to stay? Because last time it, I it did... should ideal. There you go. Oh, there it is. That's good. Mm -hmm. But again, that's your whole meal, and you—that's—that's that's it. That's repeat. You just, and so I think that initial bite is super good. That shrimp has a really good flavor. The sauce is a really good. And I look at that and I think, how much more of this am yeah, I gonna do? Yeah. yeah, by the end, I'm not enjoying it as much as I was in the, first, in the beginning. It's a lot of repetition. Yeah. Speaking of repetition, now let's do the seafood Alfredo. <laughs> okay, yeah, well. So now this is your shrimp and scallops okay, well, with Alfredo. So again, you're taking something good and you're making it a little better. Oh, can you, it smells way more seafood. The scallops do a lot. Yeah, they, how do you feel about scallops? I like scallops. Yeah. They have their place in the world. And for somebody who did not live a childhood with seafood in it, mm -hmm. my mother did not love the seafood. I've really come to appreciate a lot of the mm. seafoods and fish and things. I would get this over the shrimp. The scallops do so much for it. And it gives it that oh. really, it's not a fishy flavor, but it's a seafood flavor. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What? Oh, wow. oh, whoa. This, wow. this lemon is supercharged. That lemon has juice. It's a hot lemon. Salmon and broccoli. I can't tell you how many people order this. This is probably one of their most popular dishes. It's, it's funny because flaky, like, delicious salmon. Well, I'm on that. Sure. They do it right. That's really good. It's a fine salmon. It's good. Yeah. What do you want from them? <sighs> broccoli. All right. I'm going to put it in Alfredo. It's steamed. It's actually it, not bad. It's a little soft, but I think that that's because it's been sitting over there a little bit. Yeah. I think fresh to the table would be fine. He knows the show. I do like broccoli though. Underrated. As I've gotten older, I right? really enjoy a, bro a good broccoli. I used to I, hate it. That's the oldest thing I could ever say in my life. And honestly, I'll defend it. I, I, as a kid, I refused it. Mm -hmm. I hated it. Yep. And now it's like broccoli gets it. Yeah. You need to figure out your life if you don't like broccoli in your 40s right. or 30s. We're not 30s. What do we got here? here? All right. The last item, the grilled chicken margarita. Now they used to have okay. a grilled apricot chicken. They replaced it with a grilled chicken margarita. I bet you we could fork this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that's the sign of a good breast. You can fork your breasts. I don't know what that means. I don't want that sauce. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Mm. I think it's a preference thing. I've Ooh. never been a huge fan of the margarita seasoning. Margarita pizzas aren't my go-to. Yeah, I, mean, I like it. It tastes it tastes like you would expect a margarita to taste, but I it's just not it's just not my favorite. I think if you're looking for a very health conscious item, no pasta, great flavor, yeah. you're gonna be happy with that. No, yeah. no, Rod, upstairs. Go, go with mom. You already had your screen time. He's a good boy, but he's a busy body, and I'm done with him. Upstairs, go. No, you go. You have to be stern with him. Yeah. He doesn't, I would never be stern with my dog if he listened to the nice voice, but he doesn't. He doesn't take me seriously. I have to be, do serious dad voice. You know what? Kids are the same. <laughs> I, I believe you, my man. I believe you. I'm feeling full. Can I ask you this? Going to the Olive Garden and getting a full pasta dish, do you feel more or less full right now? Than eating a normal, if you had an appetizer and a full seafood oh, Alfredo, yeah, how, yeah. what's the difference it's on full? The same. And really. that's what I want people to hear on that. Like, this isn't an eating yeah. challenge. We have leftovers. We are going to be eating this yeah. for days and that's the real sacrifice, but it really wasn't that bad. This is a big menu and a lot of pasta. Taco Bell was worse. By a mile, yeah, by a I, mile. I believe it. That's a lot of <sighs> tortilla. <laughs> And sour cream. The amount of sour cream I had yeah. that day, I don't wanna talk about it. All right, our palates are cleansed. It's time for dessert. This is actually our best dessert menu of the whole season one. Uh, we have six desserts. The donuts came out, again, while I was a server at the Olive Garden. They come with two dipping sauces, little powdered sugar that's kind of caramelizing now after it's been mm, But it looks warm. It still looks yummy. Ooh, it smells yummy. They do a chocolate and a raspberry sauce. What do you try. reach for first? Um, I think I would go raspberry sauce first. I would go chocolate. But but you're the guest, so we're gonna go raspberry first. Okay. Oops. These are the warm Italian donuts. They're just scones, but. They're just scones. Oh, that wakes up the palate. Mm-hmm. Good change in pace too, from like. Wow. Saucy, yeah. creamy, to like sweet. That raspberry really kicks you. That's really good. That was good. Better than I was expecting. I was reaching for chocolate, happy that I met the raspberry. I'm spinning it around so we're not doubled, even mm -hmm. though we have been double dipping this whole thing. Friendship. Chocolate's good though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. We finishing? Yeah. I'm going chocolate. Raspberry. Whoa! Whoa! 
you never, you're breaking the rules. Oh, that's yummy. Is it good? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. Go for I'm it. I'm in. Mm. Yes. Raspberry and chocolate belong together. Yes. Whoa. Just pour them together. You double dip those. That was a win. Dip those bad boys together. Yeah, mix them up. Fantastic. That was really yummy. All right. If I had to do only do one, I, the raspberry is, I think. <sighs> I don't want to choose. Thing. I don't want to choose. I'm just saying. But I think I would do chocolate. Let me think on it. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> but in my mind, <laughs> raspberry is way better. <laughs> yeah, that is a, this is a t-shirt from my latest comedy album. I was there. It was great. Yeah. I've watched it again since. It was <laughs> legitimately great because even because watching it a second time was also amazing. You may be introduced to this channel just because you love food, but give him a try also as a comedian because he's got he's got some good stuff. I didn't ask for any of this, but thank you. That's very nice no, of you. When I, I saw wore, you. I wore this on purpose. <laughs> you can't plug yourself. I can plug you. You know how to embarrass me. You did it. Good. Very good. Yeah, I see a little bit of rosy in the cheeks there. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice. It is. I uh, uh, did produce a new album. I think it went really well. Thanks so much awesome. for coming. Man. It was awesome. awesome. It was such a fun night. Real friendship. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good man there. Yeah. Black tie mousse cake. Okay, this one I have had. I have, everyone has had this. This is the quintessential mousse cake. You get the point, you wore the shirt, you get the best bites, what do you think? I'm gonna scrape off a tiny bit of the fudge. Don't forget to twirl with the spoon. <laughs> Mm. Super rich. Super rich. You have to share this. You can't be pounding those alone. This is something that I really love a bite of. Yeah, and that's uh, it. And that's it. Perfect yeah. for this show. Yeah. <laughs> we only need a bite. But the whole thing by yourself, that is rich. That's but a lot. How do you feel about tiramisu? Love tiramisu. You're a tiramisu yeah, I guy. Really love it. Hated it when I was a kid again. Okay. Something about lady fingers, I don't trust. You know, go for it. I, I just, I'm not a coffee flavor guy. I've never been. It's just a personal thing as far as like flavor profile, mm -hmm. espresso, whatever it is. This isn't heavy in the coffee flavor though. No, it's very light. It's more like a, a pudding. And see, I, I need more, so it's just so airy and like, why am I eating it? It's not my favorite tiramisu, no, but no. I like it. You like it. Yeah, okay. you like it. Fair enough. Switching from raspberry to strawberry, the Sicilian cheesecake, and I'm just gonna drizzle a little uh, strawberry yeah. for us. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna grab it. Grab it, the fruit is for you, get it. There's one more in there, there's two chunks just for us. I am a critic of cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Mm -hmm. See, and that's a good cheesecake to me. That's not bad. It's smooth, not creamy. too sweet. And this is, has more of that custard. A nice density um, to it. Yeah, a very, custard. Custard. Very yeah. well said. I think, I think that's a really good cheesecake in my humble opinion. The strawberry needs more strawberries instead of just the syrup. I agree with you. Yeah, I can. That, that, that would be a critique of mine. They could definitely do that. Can I interest you then in some strawberry cream cake? Of course you can. <laughs> I've never had this. <laughs> See, much better yeah, on the it, strawberry chunks. Maybe it was just maybe how it was they just it up. Yeah. Let's do. A little of this, little of that. Oh, it keeps falling on my fork. That's true. This is getting embarrassing. There you go. Wait, we, did we just do that? We did, we did. I was like, I'm not gonna wait for him anymore. And then right then he's like, I'm in. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> that was unified. I'm going in again. Yeah. I um, You know what that reminds me of immediately? Uh, Trace Leches. Trace Leches. Yep. And it's good. Yeah. That sponge is soaked in the cream. Whoa. It's like a Trace Leches. Cake. And I'm a sucker for a leches. Yeah. Sucker. All three of them. Give them to me. Yeah, that, I have been searching for a uh, good tres leches at a Mexican restaurant. Me and too. this almost does it better. Mm. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh. Holy cow. Now I can't leave all the Olive Garden without getting the Strawberry drink. cream cake for the win. This wasn't there when you were there? No, I've never had this. I didn't know it existed. Wow. Surprise win. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, you want, oh, be my guest. No, no, I, I, okay, one more. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is so good. That shot up rankings. Yeah. After a Those... full meal of pasta, that was our reaction. I'm just, that's so good. It's so good. And is it just because it's sweet and a dessert, which should already be delicious? Mm -hmm. Or is it actually like one of the best things on the menu? It's so good. One last dessert. You know what's fun about Olive Garden? You could, if you wanted to get crazy, it's not the perfect order, but it's the funnest order. You could do a lasagna frita appetizer with a lasagna meal and then a chocolate lasagna look. dessert. You could just you could just do lasagna. Look at the layers. Look at them. Looks like four sponges, four creams, a nice same chocolate they have for the donuts. And we're okay. gonna end with a chocolate lasagna. 
Mm, okay. Mm. It's rich. That's a sharer. Whoa. You know, honestly, it's, it's similar to the... Um, black tie moose cake. Black tie moose cake. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but with the cake, it's got a little extra. I like it a little better because of that. I actually do too. <clears throat> That's solid. Yeah. Very good new dessert. If you're looking for chocolate, I think that is the winner. Chocolate oh, lasagna. Plus you get a parrot with your lasagna. So you get <laughs> lasagna and lasagna. Yummy. All right, Brad, you have done the grand official tour of Italy yeah. at the Olive Garden and me yeah. too. That was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> that was probably the funnest menu we've done so far. I'm excited because you are a returning guest of the program. So you know what we're about to do. So you're prepared, you've already gotten your ass beat in the first <laughs> leftover draft. But now it's time for redemption for Brad Christians. And this one's gonna be competitive. Now I feel like you're on my level. Now I feel like we're equals going I, into the draft. I definitely feel a lot more pressure this time. That's Before true. I was like, I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Now it's like, not only do I have to get what I want, I gotta make sure that you don't get what you want. <laughs> and without further ado, it is time for the leftover draft. Guests always draft first as a courtesy by me, the host, as gracious as I am. Brad Christensen, number one overall pick. What are you taking in the leftover draft? The first thing I'm picking is something that I never got before and I think we'll always get from here on out. And I don't think it's gonna surprise you, but I wanna make sure I get okay. it. The stuffed ZD the, Frida. The stuffed ZD Frida. I knew you loved that. Stuffed That's a great- ZD Frida. That is an incredible item. The moment I, I ate it, I knew I'm getting this every time. I, I have to. It was that good to, for me. So I, I had to make sure I got that one. And you got it. It's all yours. Strawberry cream cake. Round one, pick one. Strawberry cream cake. It is the wow. It is the surprise. I know you're taking it second round. I can't let that happen. Strawberry cream cake. I won. 100% would have taken that. 100%. I couldn't, I, I, I'm playing the game. Couldn't do it. I'm gonna go with my favorite soup, the Zupa Toscana. The Zupa Toscana. Uh, it's, it's something that I have to get every time I wanna walk out the door yeah. having that soup. I wanna dip some breadstick in it. Okay, you're playing defensively instead of offensively and I appreciate that from you, sir. Because I am going to absolutely take the five cheese ziti al forno, <sighs> add a sausage, second round, not even close. But in my mind, I was like, okay, take the strawberry cream in the first. If he touches your ziti, you're taking his super toscana in the second. It, so it you, went for, you, went, you went for what you wanted and I respect that because I'm either getting my ziti or your toscana, so. But he fell perfectly into my trap. No, I got my two favorite things. I'm good. In the third round, I choose the breadsticks. <laughs> now you have to go to Olive Garden without breadsticks <laughs> and it's basically pointless at this point. That's actually... So I take the breadsticks in the third round. I feel like that one fell right into my lap. And in the third round, I'm taking all dipping sauces. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? You get breadsticks, but like dip take, them in what? It's like taking the running back without his legs. <laughs> <laughs> you just you grabs breadsticks. Doesn't even think about sauces. I'm the sauce guy. Oh, I thought that would be funny, but no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Here's the thing. The menu is too loaded for me to waste a pick on sauces. So I, I'm actually just kidding with you. In the third round, I did not think I would actually order this. It's gonna be in the rotation. It's a quiet win and it's a perfect third round pick. I'm taking the shrimp scampi. Mm. I love it. The angel hair, the garlic sauce, the peppers. It's light, but it's Italian. It's a pasta dish. That was also a huge surprise that I wouldn't have put on my radar when we started this program today. And, and I actually, man, I agree with you because I felt like that one was the best like combination yeah. of all the flavors so and good. The pasta. That one rose very high. It, it rose. I already got an appetizer. Okay. I got a soup. I got the breadsticks. Yeah. Don't think you can have Olive Garden without soup, breadsticks, and the salad. salad. This is your order. This is this is your this is your leftover draft. I'm telling salad, you, salad, breadsticks, and soups. Love a little, my hold guy. On, hold on, now you have to go. You have to go to Olive Garden. I don't want to have, have any of that. The state, the the staples. I don't know. Me, you can keep that. Oh man, I was salad hoping that you'd be disappointed because now you don't get breadsticks or salad. The or... bread. I mean, the breadsticks were kind of cute. That was a fun little trick, and I miss them. But you you taking salad? That's fine. It's too late. He's got it now. Fourth round. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to play a game where you would be like, well, now you've ruined all of Olive Garden for me because I can't have any of the regular staples. I'll be honest, I had salad for two years from Olive Garden. If I never see an Olive Garden salad again, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was playing the game better this you, year. Up until through the first three rounds you were. That's okay, bring it back in the fifth. 
All right. And maybe get something like an entree to round it out. Okay, fourth round. <sighs> it was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was going to wow me with the salad. I didn't think I was going to wow you. I thought I was going to like... <laughs> In the fourth round, it gets a little tricky for me. I know what I'm taking. It's just decided. I'm taking the meatballs I parmigiana. Knew I knew it. That would be the perfect beginning to the meal. Oh, they're so good. <gasps> oh, thank you for taking the salad. I'm thank you dummy. so much. I wasn't, I was actually deciding between something else and then the meatballs just descended from on high and they're like, Paul, we rock. Meatballs parmigiana. Yeah. Okay. Fifth round. It's All okay, right, but maybe next time. Yeah, this was a surprise for me. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not a, not a huge fan of chicken parm. Whoa. I'm not going chicken parm. I'm going eggplant parmesan. Solid. I, it's the I could hear your parm. It, it was so good. Yeah. I, okay. It was something I would never have ordered before this show because mm -hmm. I would have felt like I had to put meat on my plate. But it, it was great. It was it was a great dish. It is. Yeah. And the, and the best of the Parmesan plates. That's a solid fifth round pick. It deserves to be mentioned. It's a classic Italian dish. My fifth round may surprise you. And honestly, I have to give you some credit for this fifth round pick because you opened my eyes to something that I should have seen all along and never knew before this moment. And that is the beautiful dipping of chocolate and oh. raspberry sauce. I'm taking the Italian donuts with that chocolate raspberry sauce Ooh. combo. If it wasn't for the strawberry cream cake, the donuts would be my favorite mm. dessert. And you really, that you hit so the good. nail on the head yeah. with the chocolate and the raspberry together. That was an absolute surprise bite. The powdered sugar, it all works. It's a fantastic scone. That's how I'm rounding out my fifth and final pick of the leftover draft. Yeah, it's you're always gonna get consistency out of the salad. <laughs> He's defending it now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I have to. I'm stuck with it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's round this out. The perfect order. Brad Christensen, you've now seen it all. How has your order changed, if at all? If you're going to the Olive Garden, what's your perfect order? Um, so here's my perfect order. You start with your breadsticks. Mm -hmm. Out comes the salad. If I can get the server to throw a extra, couple extra olives on the salad at the Olive Garden, that would be great. I I go three soups. I go Toscana, the gnocchi, and the... Uh, uh, the pasta fajol. The fajol, the pasta okay. fajol. Oh, so your, your perfect order is soup and salad. Hold on. And I'm talking like a bite of each because I'm talking about putting all oh. the flavors together. So okay. I dip my breadsticks in the soups. A soup sampler. I a, Yes, a soup mm. sampler. I don't even worry about the minestrone at this point. I get the... Ziti the, Frida. The Zita Frida mm -hmm. as the, basically the, now the added entree. Hold on. Whoa. I go... Whoa, he's going through something right now. So I go to um, your, your five cheese, but I'm going to add, I, the sausage was great. I'm going to add the meatballs. Whoa. Yeah, I wanted the meatballs, but if I could put that on the on the the, the ziti, now then I've got now it. You're yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Now you're playing the game. Exactly, exactly. Now you're playing the game. So, because I really, because those meatballs. Incredible. So good. Yep. I finished that off with a dessert. It's got to be the strawberry cake. Oh, that's yummy. There, there is absolutely no way you can get around it. So. Well done. That's a good order. That's a solid order. Right. Here's your perfect order. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually going to be a fun one, and I highly recommend if you see this, go do this. This is the perfect order of the season, in my opinion. All right. I'm excited. You're starting with the meatballs parmigiana appetizer and a dipping boat of Alfredo sauce. Okay. Back at the beginning of the episode, I said, hey, get the two together. Get a combination. You don't need to now because you've got the red sauce with the meatballs. You're getting breadsticks. Now you can have meatballs with breadsticks. Do double sauce however you want. That is how you absolutely start this meal. You're then going to say, hey server, come on over here. We're gonna do salads. We're gonna put ranch and Italian on the side so you can dabble with both. Mm -hmm. I prefer the ranch. Get extra cracked pepper, get some cheese shredded on top, which we missed, and a couple extra olives, as you said. That was perfectly said. Nothing we tasted today was able to overtake what I truly believe is the best entree left on the menu. You're gonna yell at your server about the steak gorgonzola, then you're gonna to complain to them about the beet braised beef tortelloni, but then after they know those two things should be on the menu, you're gonna say, you know what, that's okay, because I'm gonna roll five cheese ziti al forno, add a sausage, thank me later. The spiciness of the sausage, the ziti is the perfect noodle, you're able to maneuver it however you, uh, uh, like I'm getting flustered just thinking about it because that's what I got last time, it's what I'm getting next time. It is absolutely fire. And you're finishing it off with a dessert I've never had before, but I will never leave without getting again the strawberry cream cake to split. It's light, it's sweet, it's moist, it's everything you want in a dessert to leave feeling satisfied. That 
is the perfect order at the Olive Garden. I'm still struggling to go best thing on the menu though. That's hard. It's been hard. It's hard for me to it, narrow it down. It's not hard for me. I'll go first. I'll let you think about it. Here's the thing. You all think I'm going to say the strawberry cream cake. It can't be a dessert. It just can't be. It's See, not. I'm, I'm with you. It's very, very good. But the best thing on the menu needs to be something you can't get anywhere else. You can find that somewhere else. You will not find that five cheese marinara ziti with a broiled cheese on top anywhere else. The best thing on the menu is the five cheese ziti al forno. It is undefeated. It's flawless. If you're gonna add a sausage, you will not be disappointed. That is the best thing on the menu for me. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna concur. Really? Yeah, I really will. It, it was. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Zuppa Toscana. I really like it. I don't think I could ever eat at at Olive Garden. Garden without the Zuppa Toscana. However. It, it's a crowd. That is going to be a crowd pleaser. I think it changed when you could add different meats. So if mm -hmm. you're feeling something different, I thought those meatballs were so good. Oh, that adding the meatballs you to do it a meatball. is. Although I did really like the mad. spice of the sausage. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave it just at the five cheese and then add what you will because I think no matter what you add, it's going to be great. That's my opinion, but that's the best thing on it. Don't ever change it. It's an awesome okay. one. Brad, thank you so much for coming in a pinch making it happen. So glad you got to do the Olive Garden. This was so much fun. Thanks. I had I had a ton of fun and I love that I've done it before and now I got to do it again. I came in excited. I'm leaving excited to do it a, a, a third time, hopefully season two. Thank you for doing this. This is just a dream to come and try everything on the menu. It's fun. He's going to be back season two. I promise yeah. you that. Brad Christensen is going to be a staple of this show. You're the man. One of the best friends I could ever have. Thanks so much for coming on and thank you so much for watching best thing on the menu. Drop in the comments what your perfect order would be, what did we miss, and where we should go in season two. Where do you want to see us hit, and where do you want to see us find the best thing on the menu? You gotta tell me why. I know, hold on, I'm trying to think of what I want to say as the first line. What do I normally say? Hold on, uh, my name, oh yeah, okay, here we go. I want you to, say, okay, I I'm gonna say, I'm Paul, I'm gonna start with, my name is Paul Sheffield, oh sorry, I'm Paul Sheffield, and you're gonna say, I'm Brad Christensen. <laughs> you want me to say Olive Garden with you? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. My name, oh, sorry, I went too high. My name is Paul Sheffield. And I'm Brad Christensen. And this is Best Thing on the Menu, Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. One more time. One more time. One time. Best Thing on the Menu, Olive Garden. I got it. My name, oh, damn. <laughs>